There is just no way I wouldn't make a video of this, guys. This, this has to be, this has to be the biggest change Dragon Ball Legends has ever received in its lifespan. Okay, and I mean the biggest change, the worst problem that we had for years right now, Rising Rush. It has become unbearable, honestly, getting Rising Rush into oblivion on their first time accounts. Fusion players already know that. Fusion players already can rise in races in like 10 time accounts. 10 time accounts with a little bit of RNG. It doesn't require a lot since if you have um, Vegeta Blue, it's just, gonna be, it's just gonna be over. It's just gonna be over. You're just gonna draw all the Dragon Balls you need. Now, let's go over this change real fast. It's gonna be a really, really quick video. Uh, I don't wanna make this too, too long. I'm just really excited, really excited about this change right here. And I just want to share it with you guys. Anyway. So, upcoming battle version 2.3, as announced in the latest edition of video and stuff, we're planning to update to battle version 2.3 in the near future. In this battle 2.3, we plan to address some problematic sections in the game. Here is some of what you can look forward to adjustments. So, we have the initial Dragon Ball count. The number of Dragon Balls attached to arts cards at the beginning of the battle differs between each player, creating an unfair uh, disparity in the amount of time it takes to be able to use Rising Rats. In order to counter this, the number of Dragon Balls attached to arts cards at the start of the battle could be changed to be the same for both players, including zero Dragon Balls. So, you will start off your hand, no matter what you do, you will have zero Dragon Balls in those arts cards, in your starting hand, okay? You will have zero Dragon Balls, this is the best move they can do to really, um, you know, balance, kind of balance the RNG in this game, because, you know, man, if some, this change is targeted towards the Fusions team, and the amount of hard draw speed they have, like, to just annihilate you, and combo you into oblivion and just rising rush you on top of that, this is, yes, this is, this is so good, man, this is so good, why did it take them so long to just make this change? I wonder, I wonder, I'm in a loss for words right now as well, like, uh, me reading this right now, me reading this, it's hard to believe they made the saints. it's hard to believe. Anyway, combo compensation right now, drivable rates, so, while in the middle of a combo by uh, a step, I mean, they mean sidestep by the way, uh, or other method, char step, <laughs> the draw rate of drivable arts cards will be reduced, so... Yeah, you'll just be getting less cards with Dragables on them. The goal is to prevent excessive unbalance due to players holding their opponents in a combo for long periods of time, then quickly defeating one of their characters into uh, uh, with a Rising Grass in the early game. <laughs> this is exactly what I said before. This is exactly what Fusion units are capable of doing right now and make the game unfun uh, overall. Wow, I'm really, really impressed. I did not expect this change when I just woke up right now and uh, I do not even have my coffee just yet. This is gonna be like a four minute video. Oh my God, man, this is the most amazing change I've seen from the Dragon Ball Legends team. Okay, I gotta congratulate the Dragon Ball Legends team real quickly. For this awesome, awesome change. Thank you, Toshi, thank you everyone in there on the Dragon Ball Legends dev team. You are amazing, I love you, and uh, I hope you continue to make these good changes in the future as well. So, thank you Tossi, thank you man.